Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not um, it might not resonate, I'm sorry, with everybody. So please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If you do have any questions, if you would like to contact me, may it be a question, may it be a reading, please do not hesitate. All of my information, my contact, my readings, they are all right below into the YouTube description box. So please, um, if you wish to contact me, everything is there. It will be my great pleasure. Also, if you do enjoy the channel, you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And it is always greatly appreciated. And I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, let's get straight to this reading. So these are warnings for you. So let's go see what these messages are. We're going to be speaking here about some enlightenment, we're going to follow it up with the call of the night and we're going to conclude over here with some transgression. So let's begin at the very top. Let's begin with some enlightenment. And this is all about inspiration. It's about epiphany. It's about innovation. Now, struggling to find answers to difficult dilemmas, this is where you're at right now. And so the answer is not going to come to you by daylight is what I want to tell you. It is going to come to you at night and it will come to you by changing the source through which you are expecting that enlightenment to arrive. Now, in order to find an answer to an issue that is troubling you right now, you must first change the habits that have brought you to this dilemma in the first place. So you have to switch. You have to switch the sources that you go to for information. You have to consider looking at the dilemma, but in a new way, maybe in a fresh way. And you ought to best consider asking for assistance from one maybe who has greater experience in that kind of dilemma. Now, you have until now only sought justification as to why you should not have to endure this trouble. But there is an answer and there is not in outrage or denial or avoidance. It is in seeking a fresh path through the forest, a light source unlike the sun and advice from someone who previously you were maybe too proud to seek help from. As I said, the night has some answers for you. Your shadows have the strengths that you will need. You need to turn on a different source of light to find your answer. This is about there's going to be a shift in your thinking and there's going to be a breakthrough regarding a difficult situation. You are going to be rethinking energy sources. You're going to be creating alternatives for power, energy, independence, freedom of thought and freedom of thinking original stance, innovation, and strokes of genius that are going to lead to enlightenment. So let's not stay stuck on any mental habits or trying to solve old problems in the same way, refusing to adopt new strategies, and let's listen to advice that seems new. Let's not say it's too new or it's too different and we don't accept it. When you make time to listen to your own inner guidance, which is going to have bright ideas for you at this very time, by the way, you need to attempt to move beyond any habitual solutions to issues that feel entrenched. You need to dare to try something unusual, something innovative, and it might just work for you. It might just give you that answer that you're looking for. Moving on for now to your following message, we have the call of the night. Now, the call of the night is all about being daring, wanting that adventure and that um, excitement. Why? Because spirit finds that you've fallen into patterns that are soothing in their regularity. You know exactly what to expect and when to expect it. So, you are surrounded by love, by acceptance, and you are widely loved and applauded. You are content like that. It's good. You're really comfortable and you really have no reason to become any otherwise. Is what you have achieved not the pinnacle of human experience now? To live and to live without fear of being tested? Hmm. And for you, fear 
of leaving that comfort zone. You prefer all that is known than the unknown. But Spirit is telling you when this card comes out, the call of the night, this is about you're about to leave that place of warmth. That cozy, that restrictive, that dulling cocoon, and you're about to step into a colder, a harsher, and a more raw place. And this place is going to teach you and is going to offer you is more valuable and maybe even stranger you can imagine. You are going to thrust out of that place that you've called home and into a world of movement, of color, of drama, maybe even some ferocity. You are going to make friends who respect you and who challenge you. You will be disagreed with and you will fight to survive at times, but the adventure will leave you feeling more alive, even your every sense tingling more than ever before. This is about attraction. It's being stimulated. It's being daring. It's being unexpected. It's getting that thrill, that change in circumstances, that drawn maybe to the occult or to the unknown. It's wishing to understand. It's trying something new, experimenting, and it's challenging and tests. What you must not do is to continue to that routine thinking, that rut, that condition to obey, the lazy, the dull, the asleep, the bland, the insipid, the cowardly, the unchallenged, the safety, the tedious. I could continue, but I'll stop. Let's not get into all of that lovely enumeration. This is about time to step beyond the places and beyond the people that you feel safe with. This is a time for you to stretch your wings and to seek out new friends, experiences, and people that you are going to find so much if you just dare to explore a little bit. Now we're going to move on over to your final message by Spirit. And this is all about transgression. This is about flaws and contradictions and mistakes. Because there are many into this world, okay, who seem to delight into the faults of others. We all know these people, don't we? Using them as a way of proving their own very worth. Now, this, though, is false glory. And it's disturbing to all, all of us who live long lives to see so many worry that they have sinned and hurt others and cannot be forgiven. And to see others glory in the guilt that they use to manipulate and to feel righteous? The most perfect souls upon this planet, they have created moments in their lives where they have gone against their own values and their own hearts, their own souls, and they have transgressed. They have hurt themselves. They've hurt others also. And so, when you see this message coming to you and you wonder, what is it that you've done wrong? No, it it is this. It is incorrect of you to assume that your faults and your flaws, your poor decisions, and yes, the mistakes you have made are more ghastly than any other. There is not one among us who has not done wrong. And it is good that you can feel remorse and that you can take steps to correct yourself and to do better. But what we're witnessing here is that you are being told again and again and again by either an abusive other or your own abusive part of yourself that you're guilty, that you're wrong, that you can never be forgiven. Well, you must now take those steps to correct that, that can be corrected. Apologize clearly and once, and if this is the right thing for you to do, and then forgive your own self. And then to continually, internally um, erode your own value due to another's encouragement is of a very false and of a kind virtue. So there's no good in hurting yourself. No, over and over again to prove how sorry you are. Live better, do better, but let the self-punishment go and do not allow another to utilize your compassionate remorse for their own ends. Because yes, they are. We are all human and this is about going to transgress against the natural laws and the laws of your own soul. And what we do about this is what matters. Go on now and make amends and then give thanks for the gifts of that self-forgiveness. When you go against your own integrity, your soul is going to let you know. And if you continue to deny that inner voice, the universe is going to show you where exactly you went wrong. So this is about not continuing down a path that you know is against your truth of your soul. And it's about maybe even sometimes breaking that universal law. This is making amends, it's taking stock, it's assessing, it's redirecting and coming back into harmony with the voice of your own beautiful soul. 
And this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some very interesting um, thoughts that you'll be able to use. If you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. It'll be my great pleasure to assist you. My information is right below into the YouTube description box. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and have yourself a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Blessings to you.